the purpose of this book is to open our eyes okay it's time for us to know that what we're recognizing it was given to us it was given to us and it's like there was such a delusion in the church by Satan he didn't it was so many different interpretations in the last days but God knew that he had a remnant of people who was going to be living in the last days who was going to be able to really tell what these scriptures meant when he say about the beast and that he gave power to the image of the beast just 10 years ago no one could have said that that was AI. Not only did he give power to the image of the beast, but he gave power to the image of the beast to kill as many who would not worship the beast. That's AI. That's AI. Now that right there is trumpet. That's trumpets. But there is, there is, I'm gonna believe that for another broadcast. Those are trumpets, but just know that people who gave the teachings and gave the framework for these last days that we have grown up with for the last 20 and 30 years, God bless them, they were doing the best that they could to read the tea, trees, the tea leaves of their day. But now that we're in that day, we can see through a glass clearly. Paul only saw through a glass darkly, but we can see through the glass clearly because we're right there and it's terrifying it's people don't want to hear this this is not nothing that people want to deal with in their heart but in their heart they know it's something going on that ain't right that ain't been going on and so on that note it is most important that we be found number one in and of ourselves of the church in the will of god however if you don't know god it is of most importance that you learn this God. The very first scripture I ever learned was in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God and there was not anything made that was not made. I said, who is this? That is the God that you need to know. That is the God that you are going to have to find in these times because there's some times ahead people. And I'm telling you, over the next seven to 14 years, if it's even, that's being very graceful. That's being very, you know, cause there's some things that could pop off in the next three years, especially with the timelines that I'm uncovering. I'm just like, okay, things are coming into focus and it's scary, but it's real. And it's proof that a great, big, mighty, all knowing, all reigning God, whose son's name is Jesus, has set these things in motion. And there is no doubt that it's time to get closer to God than you've ever gotten before. It's time to fast. It's time to consecrate. It's time to get yourself in the word. The reason why you got good friends is because you've spent time with them. The reason why I know this word is because I've spent time with him through his word. I only know him because I know his word. Take him at his word because his word is what he is. He's faithful and true. And if you want to have a chance to make it through any of this, and even if we don't make it through, I've already made up my mind a long time ago that I'm going to leave up out of here for Jesus because there's really no other way or reason that's worthwhile to leave up out of here. But I promised the Lord, I was like, if you give me the chance, I'm going to go out of here with a bang for you. Give my life as a testimony. And even if we die, we can die knowing that we are going into the arms of a savior that's going to take care of everything, that we're soon going to meet that king, that we'll be able to walk into that new Jerusalem where there will be no more crying, there'll be no more fear, there'll be no more hate, there'll be only howdy howdy and never goodbye. It's going to be peace evermore. So whether we live or whether we die, it be under Christ and it's all good. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask that you look on any and everyone who is listening to this teaching, God. 
Open up the eyes of their understanding, God. Lord, allow them to see the world different the moment they walk out their house after this teaching, God. Lord, it's not my teaching, God, it's just your burden that you put on my heart, Lord, that you've shown me, God, Lord, that is playing out every day in my streets, Lord, that's playing out every day on my TV set, that's playing out every day on my live streams, God, on every news headline across the world, Lord, it's your word coming true. Woo, Lord, your word is coming true, God. And Lord, it's coming true in such full strength and measure that it's undeniable and it's unarguable. Lord, I thank you for your word. Because if we didn't have your word, God, Lord, we wouldn't know that you're true. We wouldn't know that you're real and we wouldn't know that you reign. But Lord, because you're real and because you reign, we can trust you in these times that we don't know what's going to happen on the next day, God. We don't know how we're going to make it. And we don't know when the last day is going to be, God. But we do know this, Lord, that you reign and that your son has made a way, God, for each of us to live forever, God. Lord, it is our prayer that salvation reign in the hearts of people like it never has before. People who've been faking church, they come close, they come clean, and they come to you, God. And people who have never known you, God, Lord, let them run to you, God. Lord, let them seek you out and let our churches become places, God lighthouses, God, homes of refuge, God, taking in those who need to know what's going on in these last days. Lord, let our churches be ready, God. Lord, let them open up their eyes and open up this book, God, Lord, to read your truth. Not what they've been taught 50 and 60 years ago, but Lord, what's coming true today, God. Lord, because it's the today, God, that you are. It's the today, God, that you are, God. And Lord, we thank you for these things in your wonderful, marvelous, great big name of Jesus. We pray. Thank God. Amen and amen.